Yes, good people, it is a great news to let you know that Oboko now is motorable unlike uh, what it used to be. At least now, most roads inside Oboko is motorable. You know, very smooth, freshly done, without any pothole. It's quite a good credit to the governor. And uh, the rehabilitation of uh, the bypass also. Uh, should I call it a bypass or a kind of a route diversion, another route that you can follow to bust out at uh, Bridget or you can follow Bridget to come out at uh, Odicho Wero Road. As uh, if you follow Ndeda well. But uh, I will still show you guys these places probably later in the video. You don't have problem, you don't have any need. Going down to Opi Waker before you approach, you know, Head Bridge or Wherry Road. You know, Peter will be first constructed that road after he tarred the whole of an industrial layout at uh, Obaru there. So he made that road, he's the first person that created that road that connects, uh, uh, what do they call it, um, Oboduku Road, that connects Oboduku Road to Were Road. So but later the road, you know, some places got bad and it was neglected. So now Solido has come and uh, reconstructed the entire road. So, but um, you can see that um, the road markings are there. It's just that, uh, you know, as usual, sand invasion is taking over our new roads that uh, we are supposed to be enjoying that should be very fresh from factory. Well, um, I believe that uh, something good is going to happen in terms of uh, keeping clean road and the environment probably later and uh, we still believe that plans are underway in terms of uh, that well uh, you can see it the roads are marked very smooth no pothole or whatever negative on the road most roads inside of Boko are looking like this just very few are yet to be worked upon so, but uh, the contractor handling the roads, they have gone. Probably they are done with uh, the work they have been given to do, which is, uh, you know, quite an improvement, quite a great improvement from what Oboko used to be. You know, um, the idea of uh, regenerating Oboko is a good one. And, uh, you know, that is what uh, the United Nations is talking about. You know urban slum you know uh, converting these slums to a proper urban development and this is what um, professor soludo has just done you know boko well i have said it in my previous video uh, if i were him i will package this uh boko work and uh, send to un I send it to United Nations, they are going to give him some credit for doing such work. I don't know about water scheme, though water scheme is being worked upon in Onicha and Anambra State as a whole. Um, light, well, I heard that uh, there is uh, plans in terms of light. You know, all this uh, NIPP revamping them or giving them a better working environment. So they can uh, you know, do the proper thing. But aside this, eh? aside this, there is uh, this particular important road that is not bringing good name to this administration or to a number of states. The new hospital, oh, it has been constructed and commissioned. But the road, the, that road is a major road, and that road posted out at Atani Road is a very wonderful connection between Atani Road and the Were Road. But I wasn't aware earlier. I just got that information recently. 
this road that passes in front of uh, Jaira Hospital, you see it now. You are looking at the roof of the Jaira Hospital, the new Jaira Hospital. Look at the roof. The road in front of it is very, very bad. It has gone. It's bad. They started work on it. The company started work on it and they abandoned it. So I'm using this medium to you know, let the government know that this road has been abandoned and uh, if they are aware of it because the machines are no longer there they have packed away every of their equipment the company that did this road so you can see the condition now this road connects atani road direct and if you move backwards you are going to where road that is the way it is and uh, you know uh, abandoning this road is not good the road is in front of uh, general hospital and uh, is a wonderful connection between these two roads that uh, i have mentioned if you have not subscribed to younger life channel please click on the subscription button notification bell and like this video and don't forget to share these videos for others who want to watch and uh, see what you have just seen and uh, be updated also so we are going to move down a bit we want to see the extent of uh, work they've done before abandoning the road it has been confirmed that the road has been abandoned there is no two ways about it it means that uh, the money spent on this road now probably if they want to reconstruct it they will damage some things again and start afresh and uh, you know vehicles with that will spoil some of these uh, laterites that have already been leveled up well um yeah, my own is to bring the updates so that we can all be aware and uh, the people in charge can take control and uh, if they are not aware they will be aware this time and uh, if they are aware well we are doing our own part the rest of the job is for them So you can see we are having our reverse view, we are done with that length of the road. The road stretches down to our tiny road. But we are having our reverse view now. The cutters they have been done to a very large extent. And the laterite work, you know, done to some level. But uh, unfortunately, they have abandoned the road. So you can now see it clearer now, the Jaira Hospital. This equipment is for the former company that worked on this road, MBH also. They are the ones that had that equipment. The one that did the road finally has all gone. You can see the Jaira Hospital in front of it. This is Jaira Hospital. And uh, this is the road. You can see to even enter in front of uh, inside the general hospital the road is bad because that road passes in front of uh, the hospital just like i've said previously Yes, uh, people of Oboko, I'm sure they are very happy with the numerous road construction inside Oboko. 
you know that's a good one and uh, it's going to serve uh, uh, you know a good uh, a whole lot of uh, work for people you know all these uh, commercial keke riders and uh, private vehicle owners if you are driving on a good road you may not have need to visit the mechanic always that is uh, one of the you know um, benefit of having motorable road and uh, you know in a developed countries all these things are just normal thing that is done government even uh, developing countries in africa they have good roads motorable roads than uh, what uh, we have and uh, you know what's contrary to what some of us thought well um this is Oboko. Oboko in a uh, uh, anambra state Oboko is part of uh, onicha urban conurbation part of onicha metropolis So, but uh, like I said, I will still show you in case if you don't know the bypass, if you want to connect to Bridgehead from Oweri Road, you want to cut off up your work entirely. You, know, um, you have to follow this place I will show you. Though this place is the road part of the road that you used to bypass Opiweka but here you may not uh, get it very well but I will still show it better to you but if you take front if you just take straight you are going to Oweri Road but uh, we are taking left after Ojoto Market we are going to take left to follow in front of a magistrate court in Oboko. Then we will show you very well how to cut it off, how to cut off uh, Opiweka. So by the left there is the uh, Ojoto Market and we are taking this road in front of a uh, magistrate court in Oboko. Well, um, the issue of uh, Sandy Road is very much around. I don't know how these things are going to be done. If the government wants uh, uh, house owners to be coming to the road and be sweeping it, well, they should specify it. Then people should uh, start taking action and uh, anybody that fails to do that will be punished accordingly. So, but if the government is still responsible for sweeping the roads, then they should carry the people along by telling the people the situation on ground. You know, what is uh, they are doing towards that. So, this is why we've not heard anything. We only see freshly done roads, done like old roads that have been in existence. Even after marking the roads, sand will just go and take over the whole road. So, but uh, that is the situation we are. So you can see the roads are very fresh and uh, neat, nothing like cold potholes on it. Uh, just that uh, the roads are a bit tiny, well, um, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, but uh, you know, I keep saying this thing, anything that the government wants to do now, let it be standard. 
let them just do it once and for all standard road and uh, leave that place you know and um, not um, you know um, getting the roads motorable just to get the roads motorable you know there is no need we are all part of the government we need to tell ourselves the truth you know there is no need hiding or trying to pretend or something i'm telling you guys what i feel that should be the best thing yes um some people we talk about uh, their property being damaged well but we have to get our environment in order because tomorrow two things are likely to happen tomorrow um there may be need to revisit that road uh, yes and that is the truth because of development and uh, other things but all these things are better done now since uh, government have come to work on it they better do it once and for all and uh, face other things <laughs> so now we are coming from Owere Road now, from Owere, Owere Road and this is Ojoto Market. I will still show you how you cut off Opiweka. I know we have left Owere Road. If we have continued from Opiweka, from uh, Owere Road, we would have uh, moved down to Opiweka. But now we have diverted into Oboko. Mm -hmm. The roads are very smooth, very fine, very okay. You follow this road as we are taking it now. We are going to come out at Obudupu. That's how it is. Then from Obudupu, you find your way into Obudupu Road, Atani Road, and then follow the Harbour Industrial out to the entrance of the bridge. So this is how it goes. Divert left, right. After diverting right, we move down a bit. Divert right, left again. Like I said, this road was first done by uh, P2P. It serves as a bypass of uh, Opiwick. So you can see it's down there, it busted out at Obuduku, then you take left and then continue your movement towards uh, Bridget. Well, um, I think I've given you the most important update concerning these places in Oboko. And uh, I'll be leaving you guys and allow you to finish up the any little part of the video. But until I come your way next time and I say bye for now.